Hi, this is Jason Johnston, instructional designer here at the College of Social Work, University of Kentucky, and today we are just going to look at a quick tutorial on how to embed a Poll Everywhere poll into Canvas. So let's begin. I'm here at the Poll Everywhere website, polleverywhere.com. I'm going to click over on My Polls. You'll see any previous polls that I've made. I'm going to go ahead and create a poll here. I'm going to put in basically the same question that they have there as a demo question. Then my options. I'm going to go ahead and create the poll. Automatically makes it right here and allows you to see the responses and what it would look like under configure. I am going to take off text messaging. I just want them to use the web clicker there because it's going to be embedded into Canvas. Under response, I'm going to make the responses anonymous and leave the rest. I'm going to set I'm going to set times for do not automatically lock or unlock. Because this is going to be part of a Canvas shell, I would like to be able to control the timing within Canvas itself. We can go over here to test. You can see that it says activate this poll to respond. This is your activate button right there. And you can test out what it would look like. Clear the responses. Now we can go over to present. In order to embed this poll into Canvas, you can share it in different ways. You could take this link right here, shareable response link. You can also point people towards a page that whatever live poll you have going would show up on that page. And also show them to the live results page. But what I'm going to do is click on embed poll. It's going to give us a few options here. It's a web voting widget. We're going to scroll down. And what we're going to do is find this snippet right here. This snippet right here uses something called iframe to allow you to embed HTML from other websites into Canvas. So I'm going to do control C to copy that. I'm going to go over to my Canvas module here where I'm going to add a content page. And from this content page, click on edit. Now if we just pasted the embed code here, it's not going to work. What we need to do is click over to the HTML editor like that. This is the code that goes behind the page. You don't really need to know HTML to do this. I'm just going to do control V to paste it in. Now we can see our iframe in there. We're going to come back and change this, but for now I'm going to save this just so you can see what it looks like. Now Here's the problem. You can see because I left it at the default size, which was 100%, it is stretched it out across the whole page, which doesn't look that good. So I'm going to go back in and edit it. You can see the placeholder there for the poll. I'm going to go back into the HTML editor. These are the two numbers are going to change. There's a width and a height percentage. Just for now, and you can play with this later if you want to, I'm going to change the width to 800 and the height to 600. These are pixels and is a way on the web to determine the exact size of objects. I'm going to go ahead and save and publish and we'll see what this looks like. That looks a little better, doesn't it? You can see that there's a link here to the poll. And now we go over to our test subject here, Bruce Banner. He can click on the poll. He's going to click on the response link. Favorite color, of course, is going to be green. Close the window. He will see an automatic response that comes back. And now when we come back to our page, we will also see an automatic response there in our created Canvas page and back where we create the poll. See, when you create a poll in, in Poll Everywhere, it, it just creates it right away. There's no need to click on Save or anything like that it'll just have results working right away for you. In order to see your poll again, you can click on polls. And this was actually the most recent favorite color poll that I created. You can click on there again, and you can change any of the settings that you need to change again. I hope that was helpful, 
and helps you to create a Poll Everywhere poll in any of your Canvas courses, please let me know if you have any questions.